According to interplanetary law, Steve is relieved of duty. He will be detained in the freezer. Furthermore, upon the completion of our mission, he will be released from detention to stand trial. That is all. All I did was get a little drunk! Why can't you believe what I'm saying? We haven't heard his side yet. You're not being fair to him. I saw him go into Mary's room, and I find that unacceptable. Hey, wait! I didn't do anything! We still have time to discuss this. In order for us to function as a group, we need law. It protects all of us from harm. The entire team must understand this. But maybe it wouldn't hurt to hear his side of the story before we freeze him. Rem, he raped me. No! I didn't do it! Rem, why can't everyone just get along with each other? I suppose it's because people have many different ways of thinking. But even if we do make mistakes, we have the ability to do something about it and make better choices the next time. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. What happens in our future is our own responsibility. Uh, marry you? Here. Come on, you must be teasing. As soon as we're finished here, I'd like you to come to the bridge. The analysis should be in in just a little while. I made sure that Steve will never wake up again. I readjusted the freezer. I didn't mean for us to kill him! I guess now that means we're partners. <gasps> Joey! What's wrong, Rem? The A-12 monitors. Somebody disconnected them. It's her own fault. I had no choice. I helped her and then she betrayed me. I was only trying to protect her from Steve. Rowan, please don't. She even told me she loved me. There's simply no excuse. Rem, you do understand me. <gasps> oh, I see now. It had to be him. Because of him, Mary had to die. It was his fault. Uh, what are you talking about, Rowan? Please put the gun down. What's happening? Rem! Rem! He can't get away with it, that monster. I have to shoot him. Now get out of the way, Rem! No one has the right to take the life of another. You don't want to kill him. Now put it down. It's not too late. Stay! 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 Ah! Uh, what are you doing? Something's broken inside me. I'm numb. I can't... Seem to stop. It's all right, Rowan. Rem, get out of there! Rem! It's not too late to start over. Uh, Here. Uh, uh, please stay back, Rem. Don't make me shoot you! That Joey. If I hadn't, he would have shot you. I'm sorry, there was no other way. I knew Rowan, he wouldn't shoot me. Please understand, I couldn't see that from the monitors. I had to decide quickly. If I hadn't. Rowan. Mary. Joey, I agree with you. I think you did exactly the right thing. Rowan went crazy. That's all you could do. That's what I thought. But what if Rem was right? Perhaps he wasn't going to shoot her. If that's true, what I did was a horrible mistake. You're just a human, like the rest of them. I know my choice is the right one. Altering ship's course program. <gasps> what is it? We're changing direction. Our course has been re-entered. What? Someone is sending orders to all of the ships. All systems are now operating on auto-lock mode. Oh my god, at this rate, the ships are going to crash on that planet! Apparently, Rowan had started up the orbital program. We have to evacuate! Where's Joey? He told me to get us to the escape pods. He said he'd try to save the ships. But what about all the sleeping people on board? We can't worry about that. We've got to get out of here. Rem! Come on! We have to go to the pods. Warning! Warning! The ship is about to enter the atmosphere. Please proceed to the escape pods. Proceed to the escape pods. 
Come on, we've got to hurry, Rem. A fight and a new land awaits them. We're not going to see it, we're going to create it. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. What happens in our future is our own responsibility. Ram, what's the matter? Alex, help me. Give me strength. You two go on ahead. I don't understand what you mean. Why? I can't leave Joey here by himself, and I have to try to find a way to save the others. But the program is already running. You've got to come with us, Ram. Please don't leave us. I'm sorry, Vash. If Alex were still alive, I believe in my heart that he would do the same thing. Vash, take care of knives. Don't worry, Vash. humans. They're a total waste of life. To think they'd actually sacrifice themselves out of foolish sentiment for others, it's incomprehensible. I thought I'd let her live only because you were so attached to her, but now I see how truly imperfect she really was. It's a good thing she died. Don't say that! Their immigration is out of the question. That'd be like spreading pathogenic organisms across our healthy universe. You're saying you planned this? That's right. But don't worry, you and I will be fine. I made sure the plant ship will survive. After all, we need that to create our new home now, won't we, my dearest brother? Only ships carrying the humans will crash. Ah! Bring her back! Bring Rem back, you bastard! Oh! Oh! <laughs> all ships now commencing orbital correction. What? Reverse thrusters? That bitch actually did it. I'm sorry, Rem. Trust me, Rem. 